Hey guys, I'm alive! I'm so sorry that it's been a while since I've done a video. Uh, you know, life or whatever. Um, so I was tagged by Rachel from Gardening at Duenza um, to answer some questions about orchids, so here I am ready to do that. Let me find the list real quick. Okay, so question one is how long have you been growing orchids and what was your very first orchid? So I've been growing orchids for six years. I've been doing it very poorly for five. And just in the past year I've got I got way more serious about growing orchids as you can tell by the ones behind me. Um, my very first orchid was a Phalaenopsis. Actually five years ago I had a collection of maybe 15 orchids a mix of Oncidiums and Cattleyas and Phalaenopsis. I think I have pictures of that um, collection, but I killed them all except for two Phalaenopsis. And um, yeah, it makes me really sad actually. That's sort of an answer for one of these other questions. Sorry, I'm looking at the list of questions. Yeah. Have you, so question number nine is, have you lost particularly loved or expensive orchids? Yeah, like the first set of orchids I had that I killed, I felt really bad about because... So these are the two Phalaenopsis that are left over from my original collection. And um, you can see they're still not doing very well. I mean, they were severely abused for like four years. And I, you know, repotted them in nicer media. And I, this one actually grew these through three upper leaves this year, but then they all they got attacked by mealybugs. And this one... <laughs> so sad. This should be one of those really gigantic Phalaenopsis. Um, so if these two guys, like I, I feel a lot of guilt towards these plants and if these two die I'm, I'll feel really really sad. <laughs> okay second question is uh, why do you grow orchids? That's like a really hard question. Why do I grow orchids? Because they're awesome. They are totally fascinating to me. Like I love everything about them. I love the growth habit habit of orchids. Like see which one is that like look at look at this this is crazy like the you know growths going up and like the new pseudobulbs I love pseudobulbs and you know the roots like I love everything about orchids and then the flowers of course are just totally stunning one thing that super fascinates me about orchids is the hybridization and you know the breeding and lineages and all that it's really interesting but you know what I also wouldn't be so into orchids without the community that you know, around orchids. So the YouTube community, the Facebook community, like my orchid societies, everybody's been awesome. So it really encourages me to continue the hobby. Okay, third question is, do you grow anything other than orchids? And the answer is yes. So I'm gonna show you a few of my other plants. So I'll start with my citrus trees. I have a small collection of citrus trees and I'm showing you the prettiest one right now because it has fruits on it. Um, this is a mandarin. And this one here is a Mexican lime, or key lime, it's a bunch of fruit. And this is a blood orange, and there's one fruit on it here. And then over here is my Buddha's hand. And oh, we got more flowers. And this one is a yuzu, um, and it got attacked by leaf miners this year. And this one, also attacked by leaf miners, so no fruit this year, um, is a Robertson's Naval Orange. This one is my reliable fruit producer. I trimmed her back. Actually, I trimmed all these big ones back really far um, earlier in the spring, so they're not producing as much fruit as they have in the past. But this is, sorry, this is a um, ring per lime. And this one here is my pink lemon and it has variegated leaves. I think it was actually a sport of a different lemon tree that they've propagated. It never produces that much fruit. Okay, question four. What are your three favorite orchid genera? So, yeah, Cattleya Alliance. That's Cattleya, Lalia, Brassavola. But I don't think that's what the question really wants. So, okay, what are your five favorite orchids well, so that's a tough question for me because I have so many plants I haven't seen the blooms of that, you know, they could be my favorites, but I just don't know right now. So I'm just going to go from the ones that I've seen bloom, like which ones are my favorites. 
And okay, in no particular order, my favorite plants are this is Lelia pacavia, which is uh, Purpurata by Tenebrosa. This is the one that has the seed pod. Still going strong. Um, Encyclia cordigera, the cordigera. This has I, the best smelling flowers ever. They're so sweet and like, they're awesome. I really love the scent of this one. And that pseudo bulbs. I love it. This one actually, eh, maybe you can't see it in there. On this new growth, there is a thing in there. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get blooms. Um, oh, I picked out more than more than five. Uh, no, I'll still, I'll still go with those. BC Pritea. This is the frilly lip thing. That's like the picture I use for like the. It's the picture that I use for everything in my intro and all that. Really like this one. Frilly and pink and brown. And let's see. Between these two, I'll choose one. Um, this one, Brabantii, is a cross. Oh my god, I can never remember this cross. Uh, I'm gonna guess. It's Brabantii is a Clandii and Baringium. I don't remember, but it's pink spotted flowers that are fragrant and really, uh, really nice. And this might surprise you guys, but my fifth favorite is this Phalaenopsis. Um, I'll put a picture of the flowers. It has one spike there and another spike right there. Um, I love this Phalaenopsis. It has a really interesting color. It's white with green on the edges and super fragrant. It smells not like any, not sweet. It's more like, um, it smells like soap to me, like kind of a fresh scent. I really like it. This thing has been struggling with mealybugs a lot and it's such a vigorous grower. Like it has grown so many crazy roots this year. Um, but yeah, those are my five favorite. I guess the runner up is this one, which is, um, oh, ow, okay, hold on. <laughs> Getting caught on my sweater. Oh geez, I'm pulling a thread. Oh, oh. oh God. Oh. Okay. Runner up is Elsie Izzy. Is he? Is he? It's a cross between Tenebrosa and Leopoldii. And it's a big, awesome plant. Fragrant, huge flowers. Oh my god, I broke a root. Okay, yeah. Five favorites. Okay, so how many orchids do I have right now? I have, uh, well, if you count all the seedlings, all the teeny tinies, like, probably between 250 and 300. So I grow my orchids in a combination of a greenhouse, which I just started doing, as you guys know, um, maybe a few months ago. I don't remember when I got the greenhouse. And... Uh, outdoors during the summer when it's warm enough and inside on basically what is a windowsill. So I haven't really lost any um, special or expensive plants. Yeah, like I mentioned, the whole first collection, there's a one Cattleya that was in it in particular that uh, I really liked um, and I got from uh, an orchid friend and I killed it and I feel really ashamed. <laughs> And, um, yeah, pretty much any time I get something as a gift and I kill it, I feel really bad. Um, so the next question is, do you have any plants on your wish list? Yes, I do. I'm really interested in getting a blooming size, Cattleya Maxima, um, really any of the varieties. Um, I have a tiny Cerulea uh, seedling, but I'd like a big blooming size one. I am still building my collection of Brassavola and Adosa crosses because I've recently made some progress on growing them. I wasn't doing a very good job before, but I found when I pot them in wine corks, um, it works really well for me and my environment. So Brassavola and Adosa crosses and Richard Mueller's. Yeah, and uh, BLC George King. So I recently have gotten into the big, big flowered classic looking cat cattleyas. 
Um, so I'd love a BLC George King. Um, you know, I have a lot of plants that I haven't seen bloom, like I mentioned. And so I, I kind of want to see more of them before I start buying a bunch more plants.